Uniswap Labs, the key company building atop decentralized crypto exchange Uniswap, will impose a 0.15% fee starting Tuesday on trades involving ETH, USDC and other tokens. Only swaps that execute through Uniswap Labs front end will be taxed. The fee is different from Uniswap's existing protocol fee that's managed by governance supporters. It's being levied by Uniswap Labs in an effort to sustainably fund our operations, a blog post said. This interface fee is one of the lowest in the industry and it will allow us to continue to research, develop, build, ship, improve and expand crypto and DeFi's Uniswap's inventor Hayden Adams said in a tweet. The new interface fee impacts trades involving at least two of the following tokens ETH, USDC, WETH, USDT, DAI, WBT, AG, EUR, GUSD, LUSD, EU ROC or XSGD, according to an FAQ. Stablecoin swaps will not be taxed and neither will be traded between Ether and Wrapped Ether. A Uniswap spokeswoman issued a clarification stating that both the input and output token need to be on the list for the fee to be applied. Meanwhile, Adams tweeted, I work in crypto because of the immense positive impact I believe it can have on the world, removing gatekeepers and increasing access to value ownership. In accordance with the regulations governing cryptocurrency marketing in the United Kingdom, Binance will no longer be taking on new members as of Monday, the business announced in a blog post. The new system went into effect on October 8th and allows companies registered with the Financial Conduct Authority of the United Kingdom to approve their own advertisements. If not, businesses might ask recognized organizations to approve their advertisements. Although Binance collaborated with RebuildingSociety.com in advance of the regulations implementation to get its promotions and advertisements allowed in the United Kingdom, the FCA announced last week that the latter was not permitted to approve cryptocurrency advertisements. We are working closely with the FCA to ensure that our users are not harmed by these developments and are, are looking to find another suitable FCA authorized firm to approve our financial promotions as soon as possible, the exchange said. The company stated that while new products and services will not be available during this time, current UK users who have passed the investor declaration and appropriateness test will still be able to use existing services. Genesis, a crypto lender and trading company, has been asked by a New York court to comply with subpoena within five days after apparently failing to respond by a previous October 9 deadline relating to the 2022 collapse of the TerraUSD stablecoin. The dramatic failure of TerraUSD, a cryptocurrency supposedly tied to the value of US dollar, sent shock waves through crypto markets and the Securities and Exchange Commission subsequently sued Terraform Labs, the company behind the token and co-founder Doe Kwon, for misleading investors. As of today, the Genesis entities have failed to produce any document. In response to the subpoenas, Judge Jed Rakoff said in a court order dated Friday, referring to legal request for information sent by the defendants to Genesis Global Capital, Genesis Global Hold Co and Genesis Global Trading on September 12th. The information sought is not detailed in the court order. The company made billions in loans and now defend hedge fund 3 Arrow Capital, which was exposed to the stablecoin. Three Genesis entities filed for bankruptcy in January 2023 and the trading arm shuttered its US spot market business in September. Rakoff is also grappling with how to extract information from Quan in connection with the case. Quan's lawyers have argued he can't come to the US as he is serving a jail sentence in Montenegro for possession of a fake passport. But the laws of physics do not make it impossible for him. To be deposed, Rakoff said in a September order, warning that Quan wouldn't be allowed to make any declaration in the case without having been available for cross-questioning. That's all in the today's special segment. For more such updates, watch 3.0TV or log on to our website www.3verse.tv.io or scan the QR code. Thank you.